beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Bro Pinter. Where it? How are you hi. doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yes. And Thomas Coitre. Yeah, hi guys. Beer guide PL. Check this guy out. He's fantastic. Probably the world's biggest beer tuber on YouTube. <laughs> um, go on. But, but in Polish. But in Polish, check him out. Big IPL. But we're here today to do an interview um, with Zywit. Um, and I want to know, how did you get to this stage of brewing? Uh, you, you've got a great brand. I've tried a few of your beers. They're all very tasty. Go right to the start of your kind of brewing career. And what got you interested in it? Yeah. Uh, I'm a home brewer. Yep. You know, I started brewing uh, uh, 16 years ago. Okay. And uh, uh, I'm still excited in brewing at home. But uh, uh, in Poland, there were a situation like this that uh, there were no, uh, there is so few uh, good uh, commercial beer available at uh, stories and multitaps. Right, and uh, there were no multi-taps. There were no multi-taps. <laughs> and now multi-taps, um, they, they, that's a bar where you go to and you try craft beer, tap where they got loads of, like a tap room. Yeah, yeah I traveled all around the world. I saw how the world uh, uh, is, uh, is growing, how the craft brewing is mm. growing all around yeah. the world. Exciting. How, how is exciting. it? How it's uh, exciting? How it's uh, uh, a rich. Uh, Fun, and uh, uh, I decided to uh, start uh, with uh, uh, commercial brewing four years ago. I invited to cooperate my friends Jacob Vizuna uh, and Marek uh, Sendla, and after the first batch uh, in 2010, yeah. not uh, not as a pinta at the time. Uh, and after the, the success of our first beer, we, uh, which we was which was a try of uh, re re recreate uh, Grodziska, yeah. which was uh, very um, you know it, it was uh, the style of beer which almost vanished in Poland for for more than 10, uh, 10 or twenty years. Yeah. And uh, Ziemek with uh, Grzegorz uh, tried to uh, recreate this beer. For, for, for back to life. Yes, and we we, we have brewed uh, 1,666 uh, uh, small bottles. We sold it in uh, five days. Wow! And now, yes, now we are brewing uh, around uh, one million bottles. One million in, bottles. In Did more... you hear that, guys? <laughs> one million bottles. But it's uh, uh, in more than uh, 25 uh, varieties. Wow! Now. I'd like to um, talk about your success, really. You're like, for me, we were talking earlier before we went on camera. Um, you're a living legend in the Polish beer scene. <laughs> you, you, um, in years to come, when people look back at when it all began with, with craft brewing in Poland, they'll look at you and brew a pinter. But there was one IPA in particular, one there, which you. Uh, which is selling really well for you, and you kind of in, it, it's almost like the Brewdog Punk IPA for the UK. You brewed an IPA in yeah, Poland, and it's called uh, Atak Mel. Atak Mel. Yeah, Atak Mel. How about that? And it was brewed here in Zawiercie. It was uh, on the uh, 28th March of 2011. Okay. And we started uh, as we start today. It was the uh, around 6 and 30. Oh, yeah. It's a nice early start. Yeah. This beer was launched at the, at the um, uh, great festival uh, of good beer in Wrocław, when, when we will be in uh, two days. Uh, and uh, as I, as I uh, said uh, three years ago, uh, our brewing scene, and in those days not craft, but uh, whole uh, brewing scene, uh, is uh, changing. Uh, and changed after this beer, after uh, Atak Mielu, and now uh, we are developing with our craft uh, breweries, craft uh, contract breweries, a lot of new pubs, a lot of new breweries, a lot of home brewers going yeah. pro. Uh, so yeah, and everything begins uh, began with a uh, with a uh, Atak Mielu, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Tomek. <laughs> and. Uh, it's important for me uh, 
the, the pinta in, pinta is uh, it's really popular in Poland. Yes, yes. And it uh, the pinta means the, the, the craft. Yeah. Because we we are craft, but uh, for for me personally and for Grzegorz and for Marek, the pinta isn't a, a basic business. Mm -hmm. It's it's still the the it's still the fun after hours. We, uh, my basic business is uh, Matter, it's a company which supply the Polish breweries. Yeah, I was going to ask yes, you about that. We Go sell, the, that we sell the, the, the malt, the hops, the, the yeast, yeah. the Polish breweries. Uh, and as I told, three years ago I, uh, I was going to show to, 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 to the Go customers and, and to Polish breweries that we can brew Fantastic Excellent beer. beers in Poland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're the backbone then of this whole craft beer scene. People come to you for malts, yeast, hops, and then you say, do you ever give people ideas as to if somebody comes to you and says, look, um, I'd like to brew an IPA, can you help me out here? Do you, do you help people out? As you know, we are the whole brewer's family. Mm. It's, uh, it's uh, easy that uh, I, I, I always help somebody need to fantastic needs the help. Thomas can you tell us a little bit about this brewery where we are today if you start talking I'll just pan the camera around uh, this brewery was uh, built in uh, 15 years ago no more 20 17 7 something like something like that uh, in the late nine, uh, 90s of uh, 20th century uh, it's uh, not a fancy brewery uh, it's more like uh, really craft, really, really, uh, uh, you know, uh, not not uh, bright uh, vessels, not a bright uh, brew house. But uh, if uh, they can brew uh, such a good beers like Pinta, uh, it means it, uh, it's good enough uh, as a, as a, uh, equipment, as a buildings and so on. Uh, to be honest. Uh, before the Pinta, uh, this brewery wasn't uh, brew uh, some uh, decent beers, some some great beers. The beers were quite good. They they try some uh, they tried some uh, brewing with uh, uh, top fermented beers, but there were no such a huge success like uh, Atak Mielu. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, brewery uh, is developing and and. Uh, and to be honest, it's too small for Pinta. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, the, the, the important is that uh, here we have uh, very, very good water. Uh, very good water. Quality, from, good quality water. Uh, yeah. And of course we use the, the, uh, uh, the very good uh, raw materials, as uh, malt, hops and yeast. So. Yeah, all natural ingredients, yeah. all natural ingredients. And this beer we're brewing today, um, again it was a question off camera, uh, well, uh, you told me that um, the beer literally as soon as you brew it, it's sold within three days, or it's sold straight away. Yeah. Which yeah, is because, fantastic. Yes, there is, uh, in Poland, we, the Poland uh, leave uh, 20, 20 million people who drink beers. Mm -hmm. Uh, who, who and they are Sorry. looking for the <laughs> they are looking for uh, new varieties. Uh, so you know it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, big market. Mm. Uh, we drink as a Poles uh, 100 uh, liters uh, of beer per capita wow. a year. Yeah. In uh, the in the main, uh, it's a crappy lager. <laughs> yeah, 90, but, but 99 and a half liter per capita, yeah. I think. But but the craft uh, part of the market is developing very very fast yes and the poles are very very interested in beer mm. and uh, they like to to see the, uh, the right uh, to read the bloggers to see the bloggers as stomach so the the popularity the, the stomach as you told is uh, <laughs> very popular massively popular beer tuber standing I, I feel a bit starstruck standing standing next to Thomas <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would like to add something that uh, 
And uh, at the world, we have an opinion that uh, Poland is a vodka country. It's not true. It was uh, connected with our history, uh, the difficult history with Russia and so on, and communist times. But generally, our historic uh, drink, uh, the, the most popular for, from the uh, thousand of years, uh, thousand of year uh, uh, for uh, 10 or 15 centuries, it was beer. And we are uh, going to the, our uh, typical beer culture uh, as uh, Germany or uh, Czech Republic or uh, UK. And so we are uh, go back to that family and uh, we are uh, developing our craft beer scene. So thank you for this note. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're, gro you're, you're growing now. You're, you're looking to kind of um, expand and um, maybe double in size as a brewery. Yes, because there are uh, so many places in Poland where the pinta is not available and uh, of course the citizens of, uh, of uh, big cities uh, can drink pinta on tap or buy it uh, in bottles but there are so many uh, so many uh, cities in Poland they uh, still call us and write why why we cannot to, to buy or drink pinta so only no. growth, which is great. So you're going to see a lot of Brewer Pinta, I imagine, even in the UK in, in the next few years. Um, great beer. Um, thank you to Zemek for the interview. Thank you to Thomas Kuiper. I'll get more of an in-depth interview with Thomas later on in the day, so keep an eye out for future uh, videos with Thomas. But thanks for watching. Thanks, guys, and cheers. Bye.